Hello and good Thursday evening, everybody. It is December 1st, and December comes from the Latin word decem, meaning 10. Oh. And you know who's a perfect 10? It's Doug, actually. How are you doing today, Doug? <laughs> decem, I like that. I'm doing well, buddy. How are you? Good. I can't believe it's December already. I can't believe it's... Uh, no, it, uh, none of it feels right. I'm, I mean, it's all good, <laughs> but it just doesn't feel right doesn't feel right yeah and christmas is but 24 days away i know that that makes some people very very happy are you a big christmas fan doug <sighs> i yeah i mean i enjoy it i like the festivities it's uh there's a bit of work to it for sure um and i think what i like about this year is i'm minimizing the work compared to to other years gone by which feels a little lighter, a little more joyous, a little more doable. How about you? Right, you what, what do you mean? Well, what, what this... do you mean by you're minimizing the work? Um, put up lights outside, but not everything, you know, just what right. seemed like enough. Um, ooh, and what have I ever done just enough? That seems off brand, I feel, now that I hear it out loud. Um, didn't get a 14 foot tree, got a 10. Oh. Yeah. Um, Maybe it's inflation. I don't know. <laughs> Could be. I mean, what is a what does a fourteen foot tree go for these days? Six hundred dollars? Uh, I think last time it was like ten bucks a foot, so one hundred and twenty. But I got my ten foot oh, for fifty. That's not bad. No, it's not bad. You have fifty bucks. That's mm. all right. Yeah. A little tree there. Get yourself a little tree. Yeah. So that's a tomorrow or the next day job. So yeah, get that going. How about you? Are you big on the uh, Christmas Christmas days? Um, well, you know, it's, it's a lot different lately. Yeah. Uh, I like I like the idea of the holiday, like it being a holiday and not working. Right, yeah. I like that. I also like the idea of um, uh, drinking uh, with your coffee in the morning. And cookies. I like cookies. I like eating. I like the eating part. Yeah, and do you I only like, like cookies at Christmas? Because you're not a big sweets person by nature, for those who don't know. Yeah, you, not you huge on into... sweets, but I will eat, eat sweets. And uh, somebody left a thing of cookies here, and I realize that cookies are pretty good. Oh, yeah. that's It's true. I mean, cookies growing up were like... Oh, yeah. It's just like, if, if growing up was prison, like... It wasn't cigarettes. It was cookies that would get you what you need. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. Do you have a favorite cookie? Ooh, you know, growing up, my mom made really good um, pumpkin, mol uh, not pumpkin molasses, pumpkin chocolate chip cookies. And they were real poofy. Pumpkin chocolate chip? Oh, yeah. So good. Sometimes I'd ask for a little white chocolate chip in there, too, and that was nice. Hmm. That sounds pretty good. Yeah. How about you? You're, oh, I bet you're a shortbread. Yeah. Yeah, shortbread <laughs> all the way. All the way. Because you're a savory I, man. Yeah, I love a shortbread cookie, and I go a little bit crazy during the Christmas season because I'll buy the McCormick's shortbread cookies. Yeah. And if I could buy a tin of those things, ooh. Hook Bob me Jekyll. up. I've been yeah. seeing shortbreads that are gluten-free. Um, so I might, uh, I might binge into a box of those if I find them again. The good thing about, um, shortbreads is it's mostly butter, just a little bit of flour and some sugar. Yeah. So the All flour delicious. being something like rice flour, which is a finer flour actually lends well to the shortbread cookie. So mm -hmm. I could see, uh, gluten-free shortbreads being pretty darn good. I would imagine, right? Without the gluten. Yeah. I think I you're like right. I do like a it's... peanut butter cookie as well. A good mm. peanut butter cookie. Yeah. I think that's probably my second favorite is the peanut butter cookie. A second favorite. I like a chocolate chip. I like a yeah. gooey chocolate yeah. chip, though. Oh, yeah. What do you think of Oreos? Hmm. 
I have a weird relationship with them. Or I think it's weird, so it's my relationship, so whatever. Um, from time to time, I'll sit down and have a box. Or not a box, wherever they come in. What do they come in now? Rows of a trays? Oh, I don't know. Like a bag? sleeve? Sure. <laughs> I'll have a sleeve of Oreos down again. <laughs> but maybe like once every three years. Like not like... They're never in the house. But if like I was making a dessert that involved that as part of the crust... Anything that didn't have to go into that crust goes into my belly. Right. Yeah. I just find them overrated. Agreed. Totally agree. There was a... Um, a they Oreos were actually a knockoff brand of... Oh, man. The, I, I have to find the name of the cookie, but the name of the cookie sounds like a cleaning product Clorox <laughs> it, it sounds like that something like that I'm gonna find out what it is it's like... I uh growing up uh on the fishing Hydrox. boat Hydrox oh Jesus that's a horrible name yeah, yeah I I, I liked uh the pirate cookies pirate cookies they're like they're like a, a sandwich cookie but they are peanut butter in the middle and kind of like an oat cake-ish on the outside. Oh, I do like oat cakes. Do you remember the maple ones like that? They had like maple in the middle. And they were shaped like maple yeah. leaves. That kind of cookie. So this is the original... Oh my lord, where are those from? This is the original... America! Oreo. So Oreo was a knockoff of these Hydrox cookies. Wow. And for some reason, Oreo just sort of surpassed it. And I don't know if it was marketing or if it was something, but mm -hmm. they, uh, and apparently the, like these are, these taste different than Oreos, but not by a lot. So, and most people who've had both prefer these. The High Rocks. I don't know. I don't know if they're more. Yeah. And that does sound like a cleaning product, right? I'm not. Oh, it's like Clorox. It sounds a lot like Clorox. I Hydrogen. <laughs> yeah. Hence the Hydrox. The cookie itself is... Uh, let me show you the cookie itself. Okay. Show me the cookie itself. It's it's crazy how much of a knockoff Oreo was. Of, oh, like, now, correct me if I'm wrong. Out. Yeah, because Oreo has Oreo written on it, and so does Hydrox. So they have a different... Um, impression it would appear different pattern and not not by a lot like the look if you look here these are like yeah the rim jobs flowers. are the same yeah and these are flat whoops okay How do I... these are flowers too that's right. nicer yeah. as well i would well say. you want to know what that hydrox is strangely legible for being such a fine font it looks thicker too well, it is closer, though. That could just be a perspective thing, but it might be bigger. You think that's why they came up with a double-stuffed Oreo? Well, it's why they came up with the Oreo in general. I know that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. On, on board. I'd like to try it. I'd like to see if it's any good. Why don't you order them from Amazon? I have a little uh, taste test with you. We could yeah, do that. could do that. Yeah, do that. Uh, I think those maple cookies that you're talking about with the cream in the middle uh, mm. were girl guide cookies. No, but similar in concept, but they were um, maple. Yeah, yeah. Didn't the <laughs> didn't the girl guides have maple cookies? Um, they might have. They had like vanilla or chocolate. What? Yeah. They have all sorts of. Of those mint thingies. Oh, I see. The ones that are like a leaf shape. Correct. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Did you? Is that what you said? I, I believe so. But you'll have to and rewind and rewatch and. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -oh. yeah. Let's go to the tape. Play it back, Bobby. We need a Bobby. Well, speaking of cookies, <laughs> <laughs> and Bobby, what are you? What are you working on? Oh, I'm working on a little. Uh, Jack Skellington, 
Uh, it's probably hard to see right now, but uh, I'm going to start hammering in some contrast here in a hot minute. Um, but I just kind of wanted to lay out his proportions. Oh, my phone is telling me it's artwork time. That's yeah, convenient. It's artwork time. Get get on it. I might put my phone so on it's silent. December, you never know who's going to send me some messages. Sorry. The yep. last month of the year. Mm-hmm. Hi, Bia. How you doing? Hey, Bia. Um, there's a famous birthday today that I think you will quite enjoy. Is it Michelle Pfeiffer? Uh, no, it's not. I love her. Um, this is a older, older than Michelle Pfeiffer singer. Oh, um, uh, Barbara Streisand. Oh, you're getting close. You're getting close. Oh, it's Bette Midler then. It is Bette Midler's birthday today. <laughs> Third time's that's, a charm. That's right. And how old do you think Bette Midler is today? Ooh, I'm going to be off by a year. Guaranteed. Um, whoo, old Bette. <sighs> She's just like an old Mustang who needs a lube oil and filter. <laughs> not agreeing or disagreeing um God. 77 number, 77 oh yep you, you're bang on she's Woo 77 today nice. yeah. 77 nice work and you know Thank what you. you are the wind beneath her wings doug you know that's i have a story for that that i can't share um on here but you remind me later and i have a story for you <laughs> uh, okay you tell me and i'll tell them <laughs> that's fair it just can't yeah, come from me hit, hit me up later um it's also zoe kravitz's birthday today well i like her too yeah daughter of lisa bonet and lenny i like her dad as well indifferent about her mom yeah. Sure. Yeah, those are the celebrity birthdays, December 1st. There's more, but none that matter. <laughs> I don't mean to laugh, but I did. So I'll keep going with it. But like, Oh, that's not true. It's Sarah Silverman's birthday today as well. You like her. I like her. Yeah. That's one of us. <laughs> not a fan? No. No. Yeah. No. No. Okay, it's a no. No from Doug. Hey, little Ange, how you doing? Hey, little Ange. Oh, yeah. You'd say 75, Bia? You'd be close. You'd be off by two years. One, if you had a guest yesterday. Well, that's that's also true. Yeah. Wah, 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 wah. Yeah, December. December 1st. Yeah, it's wild. Yeah, it's you're not having it. If were an animal, what animal would it be? Ooh. A chameleon. Because it's mm. fucking all over the place. Hey, Troy Oberson. Um, or is it because it's karma, 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 chameleon. Come and go. Come and go. Yeah. Hey, Was Troy, what's happening? Well, we were singing for Troy. Oh, yeah. Sure we were. I was. You did the Doug. You did the Doug plus one, Bia. You did the Doug plus one. <laughs> Doing great, little Ange. Thank you. It is. Uh, I'm a little shocked that this year is almost done. Yeah. It seems like it was very quick. And uh, not super productive. Oh, no? No. Ah, that's not true. If I look back, I did a lot of things. A lot of things that don't mount to anything but a lot of things but you do yeah but did you do yeah, exactly did you do something you liked what did you do anything you liked <laughs> Jesus. Uh, <laughs> this year was a slog yeah i did lots of things this show for example i enjoy this this is a great time yeah it is i agree 
I show up? Fairly often. Every Thursday. Short year, not very productive. It did feel short. I think it's interesting because this is the first year sort of back in the wild after two years of not. Uh, Would you ever do that show? Did... Oh, I'm sorry. No, I was just going to say I did go places. I went places. I saw things. Mm-hmm. Uh, did I ever see, did I ever do that show, see that show? What were you going to say, Doug? Uh, the show, I think it's called Alone and Naked. Do you ever be on that show? Or, or, is, that your, on or, is, or, is, or is that your life now? <laughs> <laughs> it's called Alone and Naked? I, don't think, I think so. I think you have to get naked and you're in the woods and you're just going to survive until you can't. And they video you. I know, I know the show Alone, which I really enjoy. And that's the survival show where they drop you off with you know 10 things ish oh yeah yeah uh naked and alone they, there's like four people who are naked together oh so you're not alone. alone well i don't know i've not watched it that's why i'm curious because you oh you... never mind this is naked alone and racing to get home episode four <laughs> did you go into a private browser or is this gonna screw your computer up again It seems like naked and alone is a guy and a girl. Oh. Oh. Doesn't sound very alone at all. And six <laughs> girls. Yeah. Okay. So far from alone. Right. I don't know why that. <laughs> it's more like an orgy than anything. Maybe that's how so they get are all they the viewers. Are they surviving as well? Like they're just. <laughs> or they're just a, they're just breeding. I don't know. A satchel. All right, I can't look at these images anymore. <laughs> Do you need a uh, moment? They, the, the show alone is pretty good, though. I don't know if you've seen that. It's on season 10 or whatever, but they, like, drop people in the, uh, you know, Victoria uh, Island, Vancouver Island, or up in Labrador, or in the Arctic, or in Mongolia. Oh, no, they haven't seen it. They drop 10 people at 10 different campsites, and then they have to basically survive and the person that survives the longest wins uh half a million dollars and how how long can this like endure like how long does it last normally for them that have to survive uh it depends on the season but anywhere from like i think season one season two is like 40 days uh i know that the last season before this one it was everybody that made it to a hundred days got it and that's only a long one person time did. whoa yeah it's a long time it's like three months and ten days for half a million dollars yeah that's pretty good pay and you get like you get 10 things to bring with you it's not like you're you're sitting there all fine and dandy uh they're also in like bear country so you can bring like snare wire and like a bow and you have to like hunt for all your food and oh yeah I, real I, skinny i'd bring a bow for sure yeah people get very very skinny yeah i think you'd want a bow or something something to hunt with anyway trap yeah with. yeah they'd be like you can bring 10 things and i'd like i'd like to bring a small log cabin with me yeah, just a mini house, one of those little... Just a little mini house with a mini <laughs> fridge full of stuff. Well, replenishable stuff, like beer and um, food. Will there be a Doug Actually Christmas special, Troy? Absolutely. On yep, the, um, December 22nd. What date will it be? 22nd this year, December 22nd. Big ol' how do you do? It's yeah. going to be a lot of fun. I will draw something. Maybe live. do things. Yeah, it's uh, probably just well, that's an event itself. Just it was Maybe. a lot of fun last year. I might have mm -hmm. gotten a little bit too tipsy, but hey, it's fine. It is what it is. It's the holidays. You do you, Shane. It's the ho ho holidays. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. What do we want to cook that year? This year? That year? That year? That year, long ago. <laughs> yesterday, a year ago. Tomorrow. Um, yeah. Like, what are you feeling for food? 
I don't know, like something Christmassy. I'd like to do a little bit Christmassy, but maybe we'll make uh, those gluten-free shortbreads for you. Oh, yeah. Do you want to have a goose? We did a goose before, no. though. I don't know. It's We've done of... goose, and it didn't. It wasn't the best. No. Do you want to do duck? We could do duck. I, I, w I would be fine with duck or lamb. Maybe we could do a little oh, lamb. Oh, lamb. Shake. Yeah, yeah. That sounds... Let's do that. I'm down. A little leg of lamb or something? Yeah, a little rack of meat. Yeah, sounds yeah. good. What do, what does everybody in chat do for... Uh, oh, bacon wrapped scallops sounds good. What yeah. does everybody in chat do for Christmas? Is there any special food that you guys have? I mean, we, we used to do steal. the turkey thing. My mom's stuffing was amazing. And gravy. Those two things. I do okay. love stuffing. I think we should make stuffing or dressing or whatever yeah. people call it. Oh, no. Agreed. It doesn't have to go inside anything. No, and is that the difference Except between your belly. dressing and stuffing? Dressing yeah. is not in a turkey and stuffing is in a turkey? That's my understanding, in. but I can't confirm. You can't confirm what's what? No, but that would be my assumption based on the assumptions I have. This is going to be funny. My search results are going to be crazy tomorrow. My my Google feeding up uh, what's going on. It's like, oh, naked and alone and stuffing. Is there, are there <laughs> <things you're> stuffing? <laughs> Happy holidays. You're going to be stuffed with it anyway. Uh, stuffing is typically placed inside the cavity of a turkey, whereas dressing is considered a Thanksgiving casserole that's cooked in a separate vessel. So uh, we were right. Absolutely right. What do we win? No Christmas for Bia and no dead animals for her. Okay, absolutely. Yeah. We can avoid that. No problem. Stuffing, though. Or dressing. Can mm -hmm. you stuff the dressing or dress the stuffing? Either way. Hmm. Either way. Uh, are you a bread pudding? No, bread stuffing kind of guy? Or are well, you? Uh... I used to be, but not anymore. Oh right. You're off the the glutens. That's right. Uh, what if we use cornbread instead? Oh yeah, yeah, we totally could. Or polenta. Polenta. I always mix that up with placenta, and I, it, it just sounds gross. They're different. They're really different. They are different. Yeah. They are different. But you mm -hmm. can make uh, polenta with some placenta if you want. Seems like people are pretty keen on eating that stuff. Mm. Uh, not, not I, personally, but hey, each their own, I suppose. Bacon wrapped scallop sounds pretty good too. Little seafood yeah. for Christmas doesn't hurt. Yeah, I think we're gonna make a chowder this year. Ooh, that's a good idea. I tend to make. That's one a big thing year. around these parts. Yeah. Christmas chowder. Chowder. <laughs> <laughs> what uh, what 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 kind of chowder do you like? Do you like a white chowder? Do you like a red chowder? No. Yeah, you like it I all. mean, yes. Also, yes, but I would rather go for a creamy seafood chowder with big chunks of lobster, fish, scallops, mussels, all the things in it. Now, another question, a follow-up question, as it were. Mm -hmm. There's different ways you can do the creaminess, right? Like you can use potato base instead of dairy. Do you have a preference on that? Yeah, man. Use the heavy cream. Just... Just use the heavy cream. Not the vegetable stock and potatoes. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there will be that. That's why you use the heavy cream. Use use a stock, a good stock, mm -hmm. good vegetable or fish stock, or make the stock yourself with all the trimmings of the lobster and the shrimp and the fish. And, you know, cook the fish in that with the potato and the celery and whatever else. And then you finish it with, like, a heavy cream and make it creamy and delicious. Mm -hmm. And then that way you can have the taste of both. Like the heavy cream will be diluted by the delicious stock. Yum. Hook me up. Doable. 
Oh, I, I'll I'll do it. The thing that I the thing that's uh, important, I think, is the fish that goes in it, and to make sure that you don't overcook any one item. Right. Now, what are your what are your fish of choice that you would say have to go in your chowder? So haddock for your white fish, scallops, absolutely. Uh, shrimp is like a optional, but it's good. Uh, but get wild shrimp, the shrimp that tastes like lobster. Mm -hmm. And uh, did I say scallops? More yeah. scallops. Put more scallops in there. Okay. And then I like a mussel, but it doesn't necessarily need to go in there. But I like mussels in there. And then How uh, lobster. Oh. How do you feel about salmon? Yeah, salmon can go in there for sure. It's not a, a must-have, but it's delicious. Now, for me... My whitefish, I'm not opposed to uh, some halibut. It's a little chunkier. Oh my goodness. I mean, if you want to spend the money, put some halibut in there. <laughs> it's I so, I it's great. There was one piece of halibut at the store the other day, and you don't see it very often in the store anymore. And it was mm. about the size of the back of your hand, not including your fingers, right? Just about the size of the back of your hand. It was $42. <laughs> just like okay, wow who's, who's buying that nobody's buying that wow wow oh and a nice a... roll is is a necessity for your chowder mm -hmm. oh yeah you gotta have good, good butter buns. too good butter and um instead of a roll for me i'd prefer a biscuit oh yeah i could do a biscuit i like a biscuit Biscuit or a roll, and it's just something that'll have the butter, and you can put in the. Thing. Oh yeah, and uh, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I'm I'm a weird cat that way, but I'm a I'm a biscuit eater. Was halibut ever cheap? Like back in the old days, I remember no. my parents used to get it for fish and chips. Haddock or halibut? Halibut. It'd be pretty heavy for fish and chips. Oh man, so good. Yeah, it would be. But be like, like you could order haddock or halibut in your fish and chips i mean it was more expensive to get halibut but not by a lot not like it is now right have you seen the size of some of these freaking things though like a real life halibut they're big yeah all right bia there's your jack skellington he's your favorite uh, christmas character so this is the size of a halibut yeah they're big flat fish Big flatfish. They look, uh, uh, you can also get tarbit that are that size. Mm -hmm. You know a tarbit? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Doug knows a tarbit. Yeah, what are you saying? Of course it is. It's like a halibut, but different. Yeah. Look at this guy's, look at this guy's halibut. He doesn't, he's a, he looks like he plays the lotto. And like the lotto that he you definitely snap, plays the lotto. snap open, you know, the ones that you yeah. snap open. And he also, uh, this is his favorite lotto number that he plays all the time is uh, 466. Right. Yeah. He also doesn't seem too happy about this humongous halibut that he caught. Maybe he needs to go to the bathroom and they're just like, we need to take your picture. He's like, I'm going to, oh, it's in my boot. I've been on the boat all day. <laughs> I got to go pee. <laughs> I'll tell you this. I'll tell you a funny story or a story that probably isn't even funny at all. <laughs> I needed something for my phone. So I went to a place I don't go very often, the mall. And uh, cause I wanted to find one of those phone places that have cords and shit because I wanted a, a new cord so it would work in my vehicle. And this older couple with a pickup truck were parked in front of the door of the mall but not like right in front of the door like just where the building ends before like the entryway and both passenger side doors were open and the old dudes there just peeing what at the in it's the mall fucking right weird there? yeah not like on the like the road that goes by where like the door like not even in the parking lot Parking lot was like across the road from that. Jeez, what do you yeah. gotta go? You gotta go. <laughs> I don't want to get to that point. If I gotta go that bad, 
Maybe my days are they done. You want to be put down? <laughs> yes. <laughs> or stay home. Uh, it, Doug's like, Doug's like, oh, pull over. I got to pee. Actually, just, just keep driving into the ditch. Just <laughs> get me to a bridge. Get me to a bridge. <laughs> it's over. Take me to the hospital. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Take me to the hospital. Get them to put a bag in. Yeah, or something. Ugh. Not for me. Ugh. All right. What are we going to work on next? This was fun. I, I actually had fun. I've never, driven, I've never drawn Jack before. Yeah, it looks really good, too. Nice work. Thanks. Very well done. Um, does anybody it's have any Jack. specific Christmas character they want Doug to draw? We've got about 20 minutes before we move on. I don't know where we're going, but Shane has a plan for us, yeah. apparently. We're moving on in 20 He's, minutes. So it's always moving. A Christmas character. If not, you know, drug. 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 Wow. <laughs> how, many, <laughs> how many beer have you had? Uh, I'm not telling. How about that? Fair. I told, I don't know if you saw my Instagram promo, but I said you were, you might be schlappy tonight. Ooh. How did you know? Was it our pre pre you stream even, conversation? No, you weren't even there. I did it prior to you even coming on online. Oh, you just yeah, knew. I just, just had knew. a feeling. Yeah. We're just right, connected. Right there. Yeah. Jeez. A Swedish gnome. A Swedish gnome. Oh, I that's a good idea. Let me look up that. Oh, let me pull one let me pull one up for you. Here, Doug, I can help as well. <laughs> you just keep drinking. You, I'll take care of the show. Don't you worry. Yeah, you give it a go. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. You know the one. They're the they're the Christmas ones for sure. Are they the ones with like the big nose? I love them. The, where they have no eyes, you can only yeah. See them. Now they're, they are cute as heck. Little Ange, do you like them with longer legs or their ass right on the ground? That's the one I'm looking at too. Is that the one we like with like fella. like his ass is right on the ground? Or do you like him with I a little? I know the long ones you're you're talking about. My mom like those uh, had the uh, figurines of those for Christmas that she would put out at Christmas. Oh, lovely. And my other question, little Ange, is um, how pointy of a hat? Ass on the ground, great. How pointy? Or is it a little floppy? A little floppy at the top. Little top flop. <laughs> the top flop. I like that. The whole top flop. Yeah. Could that be the name of your penthouse? Top flop. The top yeah. flop. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. All right. The top flop is the new muffin top. <laughs> Love it. Bloop bloop bloop. Cute. So cute. Good call. Mm. Good call. Love it. Getting into the Christmas early here. That's good. Um, where's my paints? There we go. If anyone should know, it should be me. Um, where do you think uh, where do you think hedgehogs are native to? No, no, I have no idea. They're cute. I'll give them that much. Here's your daily hedgehog fact. This is where they're native to. The the yellow. What says right here? Where hedgehogs live? Hedgehogs is really is. that much. Yeah, it's most way of Europe. Bigger than I thought it would be. Yeah. I thought it was like maybe here. In this little. Oh yeah. This little guy right here. But no, all over the place. I get around. There you go. Can you bring my gnome there back? You know. Just for me to see, even? Sure. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Put it over here. So you can also see chat. 
I love seeing chat. Hedgehogs are famous for their prickly spines. They look like tiny porcupines. Tiny bubbles. How long do you think a porcupine lives? I mean, a hedgehog lives. <laughs> um. Four years. Seven. Hmm. What do you think their top speed is? <laughs> fast. I bet they're fast <laughs> as fuck. Um, but short bursts. So. Yeah. Definitely bursts. 10 kilometers? 9.5 kilometers an hour in short bursts. <laughs> yeah. Very good. We're doing all right tonight with no, all the. No one. No one stuff. It's yeah. weird. I'm usually off by a year or a kilometer an hour. Yeah. They're carnivores as well. Really? Mm -hmm. Did not expect that. Yeah, I mean... They're talking about the meeting plants, so wouldn't that make them herbivores? Right. Brontosauruses. Huh. Oh, apparently they're good swimmers and can climb trees as well. Look at me. They're eating snails and stuff, yeah. Snails oh. and insects. Would you like to be a hedgehog? No, but I think they're pretty darn cute. Right. They're pretty darn cute. Ba -da -ba -da bang, bang, bang. Meerkat or hedgehog? I'd rather be a meerkat. Rather, yeah, okay, well, that's fair. Was that the question or no? No, whether you liked which which one you liked, you know? Uh, i probably take a cat over most things. Yeah, a meerkat even. Mm. Uh, and here's where they live. Okay. Nope, that's not it. I made a horrible mistake and just showed chat. Here's where they live. Just this little tiny bit here. Uh, they overlap with the old hedgehog there. So, you know. They're buds. Big buds. <laughs> oh no, Chad saw Chad. <laughs> Look out. <laughs> it's uh, recursion. The ultimate. Infinite recursion. Right. Top speed of a meerkat. What do you think that is, Doug? 32. Oh, thanks, Jake. 32. But uh, no thanks. Wow, what's crazy is that you're bang on there, bud. Wow. Bang on, bud. That's a good nickname. 32 kilometers an hour is their top speed. Hmm. They eat beetles, caterpillars, spiders, scorpions. They'll also eat small reptiles, birds, eggs, fruit, plants. They don't sound picky. No. Mammals. They're cute. They stand on their hind legs like little mm -hmm. people. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Look at you cute little people. Now I'm wondering if like the Swedish House Mafia are actually like little Swedish gnomes. Oh, little Ange just posted in the Discord her little gnome collection. Very oh, cute. cool. 
if you're looking for that, it's over here. Discord. Sorry, I was just singing the theme, the theme song. Ah, uh, the uh, Troy Orbison original. I know, it's amazing. Troy's no longer with us. Oh. Bye. In chat. He's, he's still alive. Mm hmm. Yeah. Badanga, badoom, bang, ching. Do you have a favorite Christmas carol, Doug? Which we talked about this last time, but I forgot what you picked. Did I pick Holly Jolly Christmas? I don't think you did. I think you picked something else. Oh. And I picked Last Christmas. You did by Wham. And I heard it the other thing. day. Yeah, yeah, already. Wow. What thing? There's a game called mm -hmm. Wham Again. And the so <clears throat> Whamageddon is a game played during the 24 days before Christmas Eve in which players try to go from December 1st, that's today, to the end of Christmas Eve without hearing Last Christmas by Wham. Oh. If the player hears the song between those days, they are out of the game and have to post Whamageddon on social media to indicate they have lost. The uh, exceptions to this game are that players can only listen to remixes and cover versions of the song. Whilst not encouraged, but technically still part of the rules, a player can send another player the song or play it to them so that the other player loses the game. Although when oh. again is described as a survival game as opposed to a battle royale. Um, I have a lot of questions because... Hmm... It does not count if you sing it because that counts as a cover and you oh. can cover it. Like I could sing it right now and you wouldn't lose the game. But Last what if you're like Christmas. But what if I'm at work and I can't control what's being played at work? Like I have to plug my and ears. You lose. Oh. And you lose. That's part of the game. It's like I would never go to the office because our office is in a mall and of <laughs> course you're gonna hear it in the mall. Yeah. Okay, your point is I sing it a lot. I do. I really like it. I think it's a fantastic Christmas song. Did um, you ever get your heart broken at Christmas? Sure, why not? Oh, okay. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. Doesn't everybody? It's not what Christmas is all about. Heartbreak? Well, unless you are a carpenter who wears a red checked uh you know coat the red check christmas coat uh living in a small town you're never going to find love at christmas if you have a girlfriend already they're going to at christmas fall for mm -hmm. a carpenter in a small town wearing a uh one of those jackets or just anyone in a small town like they'll just see someone have cocoa and leave their boyfriend of three years that they're engaged to because they met someone That's four right. days ago who happens to like Coco too. Yeah. If, if, if I've learned anything from Hallmark movies, that's exactly right. Yeah. So either I need to invest more in Coco or stay away from it. Maybe I'll open a Coco shop thing is is like unless you look like this you're not finding love at christmas oh yeah fair he's like a poor man's brad pitt he is that's exactly what i typed in poor man's brad I typed pitt. in hallmark poor man's brad pitt <laughs> <laughs> This is who I got. Yeah. Let me see if I can find his name. Yeah. Poor fella. That's not Brad Pitt. No. But he will find love at Christmas. 
Yeah. Love or just a good time? Nope. It's always true love. They oh. always find true love. That's their true love. <laughs> right? Right. Because the person... And normally when they uh, are first meeting and learning about true loves, I find they all have a dog with a girl's name. Like, oh, I got to get oh. home to Betsy. That's my girl. Yeah, yeah I like, like that anyway. And then they're like, oh, well, he's taken. And then he gets home and then he's taken by his dog. Trevor I dare say Donovan that's his true love. Yeah, Who? Trevor Donovan. Oh, yeah. Maybe he's Brad Pitt's stunt double. Man, he could be. Jesus. He is a handsome fella. Eh. He's no Brad. Trevor Donovan, known professionally as Trevor Donovan, <laughs> is an American actor and model. <laughs> he is best known for his role of Teddy Montgomery on the hit teen drama series 90210. That must be the new one. It must be a newer one, yeah. Yeah, 2008 to 2013, so new ish. He was on Dancing with the Stars. Oh, he's. So he's a dancer. That's good. He's a dancer, is he? <laughs> Sounds like he's got lots of skills. <laughs> this Brad Pitt wannabe. Uh, yeah. Man, does he... He also could... Oh, that's a bad... Very bad. Um, well, I'm not going to judge this man's looks. I'm just saying he's he's no Brad. No. He's not. Although, there are pictures where he is definitely trying. I figured. I mean, I remember back in the day in university, She Bangs would come on, and there was a guy that looked a little, looked enough like Ricky Martin that he got laid every time that song came on. No, get out. Every time. Oh. It's a lot. Well, yeah, it was. It has some airplay. Isn't Hallmark always a businesswoman who falls in love with a guy that never left the small town? Yep. Oh. Yeah, there's one where the guy left the town. Well, I'll tell you what. Trevor Donovan has been in six Hallmark movies. Oh, you, what are the names ready, of his characters? Can you tell me the names of his characters? I can. T let me tell you the, the 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 names of the Christmas movies. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Does one of them have? Oh, there's way more. Oh, oh, there's way more than six. There's so way he more like. Than six. So he has a career of this. He's yeah. a Hallmark stud. So there's some summer ones. Okay. Oh. There's. Marry Me at Christmas, which is pretty on the nose. Did he... Is he dating someone named Mary? Yeah, yeah, probably. Uh, you want to hear the thing? Yes, Organizing sir. a Christmas wedding is a true treat for bridal boutique owner Madeline Krug. She loves the challenge of finding the perfect dress for, for the bride and orchestrating an exquisite event. What Madeline didn't expect was to be swept off her feet by the bride's gorgeous brother, movie star Johnny Blaze. Isn't that from Mortal Kombat? Johnny came to the quirky town of Fool's Gold to support her sister not to fall in love. Yet Madeline is the most extraordinary woman he's ever met. Ever. Planning the perfect wedding leads to candlelight dinners and strolls through the snow-covered streets. Did they have cocoa? They got married at Christmas, that's for sure. Um... 2019 he was in a movie called snow coming which uh, we all know what that's about so we'll just keep moving on and then there's wow <laughs> there's a nostalgic christmas annie garrison's annual holiday visit to the small town in maine where she grew up is somewhat bittersweet this year with her dad set to sell his toy store and retire from his wood carving career and the town's <laughs> lumber mill up for sale this will probably oh be her last christmas there but when Anne is drafted and paired with the handsome local wi widower, Keith McLean, to co-chair the town's Christmas celebration, she begins to question what she really wants in life. 
Soon, Anne becomes torn between returning to her fast-paced career in New York and remaining in the small town to take over her dad's hand-carved wooden toy business. Wow. <laughs> These are quite amazing. Oh, that was great. Um, and then he was in a movie called USS Christmas. Right. Yeah. Uh, two for the win, which oh. was um, a world champion ski racer and local ski instructor find romance on the slopes as he returns home and prepares for the biggest race of his life. With a woman named Sandra? I don't know. It's played by oh. Charlotte Sullivan, though. Oh, Charlotte. Oh, and the old Nantucket Knoll in 2021. 20, <laughs> <laughs> love it i'm just gonna let this dry and i'll add a little more to it but like it's so good it is so good. good anyway fun yeah we won't get into the summer or fall movies those are just the christmas movies he says. Mm. let's keep it on season yeah well there's a good uh, 45 minute interview of him uh, describing the importance of Hallmark Christmas movies. so Because they paid for his lifestyle. Him. Exactly. I can see him yeah. being a fan. <laughs> totally. This is, freaking... this is bread and butter. Biscuits and gravy. <laughs> Biscuits and gravy. Oh, so good. Well, Trevor Dunneman, thanks for entering our lives. Yeah. I look forward to seeing Nantucket Knoll. I was I I'm 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 gonna check out the Christmas coming or the snow coming or whatever the fuck it was. <laughs> snow coming. Just, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. What do you think about generating a Christmas playlist on Spotify where every one of us can throw in some Christmas songs, and we are all listening to it on your Christmas special? Sounds uh, magical. Sounds it does, but yeah. the pickle is we can't play real Christmas music while we're live. Yeah, you know what? Maybe maybe we risk it for the biscuit on Christmas. Question. This is affiliated with Prime, right? Mm -hmm. Can we use Amazon Music? I don't know. I don't know. I can look into it, though. We'll see. I think, you know, here's the thing. is like, If we're doing it live... What are they going to do? Shut us down? I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. But <laughs> I think we'll... <laughs> I think we could give it a go and see what happens. Um, the VOD wouldn't be available, and we couldn't upload it to uh, YouTube. Mm -hmm. That would be the only downside. We also might be able to find some copyright-free uh christmas streams but let's uh i do still like the idea of putting together a spotify playlist yeah of christmas songs that everybody is used to having and i think that's a great idea bia i love it if you want to put um something in discord to get us started i would be uh pleased with that and yeah, i will awesome. put on the list last, last christmas, christmas. Yeah. That will be my contribution. I drank a beer. Beer, 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 I like it. I like your new song, Doug. I'm on board. I thought you might resonate with it a little. Yeah, count me in. No, me not. All right, if you're going to create a Hallmark movie tomorrow... Oh, let's do that game. I like this yeah. game already. What What would you... First of all, let's pick a name. What would you call your Hallmark Christmas movie? I want Coco yeah. in it. I'm going to need it. What's that? I'd like you some Coco, Coco in there. In like Coco Chanel. Yeah. But Ch Coco Channel. That's what I'll call it. Coco Channel. Yeah. Yeah. Also no, that's so good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, um, turn on the Coco channel. Yeah. <laughs> um, hmm. <laughs> um, 
Everybody in chat, think of one as well. Every yeah, come up with a a, a holiday movie title. You have it's a Hallmark Christmas movie. I mean, it could be simple, like a holiday spectacular. But I, I, I like be. I like the double entendre, so that's fun. Yeah, deck the balls. Yeah, things like right. That. The most colorful. The most Christmas. colorful Christmas. I like that. That's very yeah, cool. yeah. Chug a mug. Of oh, Coco. I got it. The Holly, jo uh, a Holly Jolly Christmas, and her name is Holly. And he's really funny. And he's like fat. He's jolly. Perfect. 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 Yeah. And she falls. She only likes. She only likes thin, uh, finance guys from New York. And she goes to, home to. She she goes with her friend to her friend's small town, mm -hmm. and meets a jolly, funny, funny, funny man, and falls in love. From Maine. Maybe they go to Bangor. <laughs> or Ellsworth. <laughs> <laughs> I hate it here. Ah, <laughs> uh, we put him in a spot in his mind he doesn't like at all. <laughs> yeah, Holly Jolly Christmas. That's mine. I like that one. She's Holly. He's Jolly. That's good. And maybe he's a stand-up comedian that never went anywhere, and she encourages him to get out, and he becomes a successful stand-up comedian, and she gets humbled. What about, like, is there a song, like, the first Noel, and it's the first Noel he ever dates but falls in love with? Oh, I like that one, too. The first Noel. Yeah. Yeah. Or a first Noel. Mm-hmm. Or the first Noel. A first Noel implies that there's more later. <laughs> that don't make the cut. Ooh. There's two Noels yes. and they have to like and, fight for attention. Oh my goodness. Yes. He meets the first one. They go out. They kind of like each other. Then yeah. what circumstances drive them apart? And he meets another Noel and they're about to get married. And, and she's she the, she's, the picture. she works at the diner that they're at. The second Noel that he actually falls in love with. And the other one's kind of like, close to what he normally dates but not quite so he thinks he's like branching out and as a viewer you're like oh yeah he's found something different and this is wonderful and magical and then boom diner First girl he's back yeah and she's not just a diner girl she owns a chain of diners and is the kind of boss that works on the floor and she's rich <laughs> kind of noel you can respect <laughs> that's why she's the first noel a cup of christmas i like that one too local alcoholic <laughs> <laughs> Those are, I mean, those are two good, good Hallmark movies, man. The first Noel and uh, a Holly Jolly Christmas. Yep. A cup of Christmas I like. What's the premise? Mm, What's the premise tell of us a cup more. of Christmas? Tell us we're, more. We're talking Also, a lot. Angry Panda, the most colorful Christmas. Tell us more. Yeah. We need a pitch now. Is it like rainbows or narwhals? Rainbow narwhals. Someone's trying to save the narwhals. <laughs> well, in Canada, we don't have unicorns. We have narwhals. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Thanks for getting on board with that. <laughs> yeah, that, that that's accurate. I... <laughs> yeah, that's, that's absolutely right. Absolutely right. Sorry, I might have had too much passion about my first Noel, but I 
see a hit there. No, that's. I mean, I think I think those are two pitches that we could pitch to Hallmark, and if they didn't buy that, then I don't know what's going on. We should just write them. I mean, writing a Hallmark movie can't. It can't take more than fifteen minutes. It, it definitely can't two. take more than a day. <laughs> a day with editing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Here's one that's already a Hallmark movie, but <clears throat> would have been good. A Christmas Melody. And guess what her name is? Sandra. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. When an accident puts her music dreams on hold, a gifted violinist reconnects with an old family friend who helps her heal and find love during the holidays. Yes, sir. A single mother moves back to her hometown with her young daughter. Having a hard time adjusting, the daughter seeks help from her music teacher to write a song for the Christmas variety show. Mm -hmm. Directed by Mariah Carey. Oh, did not expect that. Yeah. I was going with Nathan Lane. I don't think he would stoop so low. But Mariah Cowie would? Carey. Mariah oh. Carey. <laughs> but you call her Mariah Cowie. Yeah, that was her name when she was on the Muppets. Oh. They made her they made her a cow. It was like Mariah Cowie. <laughs> oh really? Yeah. Oh, I gotta see this. That's amazing. A cup of Christmas would be the woman owns a coffee shop. Oh, yes, absolutely. And is her name Christmas? Or her last name Christmas? Mariah. Owie. Uh, nope. No, it's not a thing? Oh, it might be. I'm just, I'm just getting some very different... Just getting a lot of Mariah's. <laughs> I gotta maybe Muppets. Yeah, amazing. Is a bovine singer who appears in Sesame Street's episode three thousand thirty six. Three thousand. Wow. Some hay. A bovine singer. <laughs> Amazing. Last Christmas, I gave you my heart. How do you find your, um, how are we feeling about the Swedish um, gnome? Do we want to add a little more, a little less? What are we feeling? I think he looks cute. What's he holding? It was um, runoff. It was like a little drip, but he could be holding a little walking stick. Yeah, a little walking stick would, would be nice. And maybe he's on ice, so it's reflecting. Yeah, totally. All right, I had a great idea. I'm just going to leave it there. See you guys next week. <laughs> you did something. I am going to take a second to use the washroom. I'll be right back. Perfect. So is this, uh, how are you feeling, little Angela? You need a little, little, few more highlights going on? I'm actually kind of feeling I need a little more highlights in the hat. Do you want to have any? 
Oh, what's what are you saying, Tiffany? Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. Doug. No, no, you it's can, fine. You complete no. what you were saying. No, it wasn't important. I was just filling air until you get back. What uh, what are you saying, Tiffany? Okay, so you, you have to hear me out on this one. <clears throat> it's a Hallmark movie. Okay. It's called Gold, Frankenstein, and Merry Christmas. Mm-hmm. The girl's father owns the local gold mine which is being shut down by a big corporation mm-hmm. and they get a local dude to pretend he's frankenstein to scare them away from buying the gold mine yep and him and her fall in love and have a merry christmas gold frankenstein and merry christmas i which is gold frankincense and myrrh yeah, so I think it's uh, Frankenstein mer- and Murray Christmas. I think it's miraculous. I like it. Not our best one, but what uh, what you watching these days? Uh, Christmas in Vienna, and uh, Bridal House Christmas. <laughs> um, I'm watching the um, Peripheral. Oh yeah. I started that. It's slow-ish, but there's some cool bits to it. And I think some of the, like, um, like the, the world building that they're doing is interesting, but it takes some, like, it's kind of, kind of slow and takes a little bit of thinking about it. Mm-hmm. Uh, good looking cast. Yeah. Yeah, he's a little weird looking, I find, the brother. Oh, yeah? What uh, What's throwing you off on him? Uh, he looks like somebody, but not enough like somebody. Robin from Batman and Robin with George Clooney. No, he looks like a... Chris? Uh, Chris, Chris Pratt. No, Chris... Um, yeah, look at him. Chris Pratt's the one from uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, I think no, he looks like that guy. I... Disagree. I think he looks like Chris. Fuck. He was in that cop show with LL Cool J. And he was in, he was Robin with George Clooney. Oh, O'Dowell. O'Donnell? Chris O'Donnell. A younger Chris okay. O'Donnell. Well, hold on. I'll pull, uh, let me pull, let me pull these up for, for all y'all. But he's actually Irish, so I think he's pulling off a southern U.S. accent quite well. Um, yeah, there's a lot of Irish actors in that movie. Yeah. Okay, so. That's what I do. Okay. So this is the guy that we're talking about. Yeah, I see what you're saying. This is Chris O'Donnell. Hmm. This is Chris Pratt. Doesn't look like either of them. He kind of looks like, um... Nope. 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 Yeah, kind of. Yeah, no. not really. No, and not even close. It definitely doesn't look like this dude. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, time. Time happens to us. Oh, I'm not one to talk. Uh, he had two chins. I have four, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, did you hear about that? I, I uh, um, Pat Maroon last night or yesterday. What? No. So, I love this. So, Pat Maroon was playing Tampa Bay, playing Boston. Long mm-hmm. time... Um, oh, Angry Panda might be onto something there. 
There is some Elijah Wood he does. But he does, like yeah. they had a baby. Mm-hmm. And um, the announcer, longtime announcer, kind of like a John, Don Cherry-esque type, you know, been there perhaps longer than he should have been. I don't know. As far as I know, he's still there. Um, was talking about Pat Maroon uh, on television and was just saying how... Um, you know, at the beginning of training camp, Pat Maroon weighed in at 238. Big boy. He is a big boy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They were saying like, oh, well, look at him now. He's he's uh, he's had a few pizzas. Um, yeah. Yeah. Oh, he, he probably had a couple pizzas before the game. And then they go in the game and he's skating around. He's playing. And then like the announcer's like, well, you know, intermittent fasting for Pat Maroon's like not eating for four hours. Why and were they picking on him? No idea. And the great thing is, I wish I could find the tweet, but Pat Maroon tweeted, um, essentially tagged this guy out and said, uh, I'm donating $2,000 to mental health and awareness about uh, body image and body positivity. Uh, just called the fucker out, like just for being an ignorant shit totally on the high road and then invited any fans and um anyone in the nhl to match his donation of two thousand dollars and like i guess people were just throwing money at it like crazy wow so that's I, thought that, I, I thought that was a really cool comeback yeah so here here's what he said in the tweet in support of these struggling with me- those struggling with mental health bullying and body image i am making a two thousand donate dollar donation in the name of uh real jack edwards which is the guy that was making those comments to Tampa Bay thrives. And I encourage the Tampa Bay lightning and the NHL fans to join me. Yeah. That's such, so good. Oh, so man. good. That's, that's awesome. Yeah. And it's just like, I don't know. It's just so stupid. Oh. I mean, people must've jumped on that guy after that. eh? that Jack Edwards guy. I'll be surprised. He has a job. This isn't the first time that this idiot's been said nasty stuff, right? Well, and I don't. I think you're right, but that's the thing that kind of gets me. Is like, who's his boss, and why does he still have a job? If there's like a history of it, I mean. Well, the highlights look very good. Little Ange says, and I agree. Thanks. Yeah, I feel he's a little more magical now, or something. Yeah. Or he's going to like a party the drip into like a little thing with the reflection it looks so good yeah it looks like he's uh he might be on a date Harte. oh hey hard how you doing nice to see you little Ange requested the gnome Harte. who's going on a date the gnome we, we you missed our conversations about uh hallmark movies that we would create i think we got a couple bangers in there yeah it does look velvety i like it actually i had well it's funny you say that i was picking up some uh had to get a jacket stitched and a shirt stitched and i was picking that up but i was gonna say the laundry map it's not a laundry map but where they sew shit um and yeah. someone taylor thank you i went to the taylor and uh it'd be better if you actually did go to the laundromat and just, like, got some <laughs> random person to stitch up your shirt for can you, you fix this because it's falling apart <laughs> um i was here right <laughs> <laughs> can you just exchange it for something over there um <laughs> so there was like a crushed velvet blazer hung there and i was just like to the guys that were working there i was like yeah, it really is crushed velvet season isn't it and they were like it sure is. <laughs> Did you get it? Tell me. No, I have one already. Of course. Uh, oh and it was God. the same color as mine. It was like a navy blue. Yes, get a navy blue one. We'll wear them for the Christmas show. Well, if I can get a red one, I wear the red one. Nice. You wear the blue one. And I'll be cold miser and you be heat miser. <laughs> if you can get a big orange wig, that would be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Crush velvet smoking jacket. That's what I want. Get it, buddy. Oh, yeah. They're cheap. <clears throat> Are you a single or a double-breasted? Uh, 
I mean, I think at my current size, I would need to be a double-breasted, but I'm not. <laughs> I'm not sure. So it doesn't with, matter um, what size you are; it's just what style do you like? Uh, I don't know. One lengthens, right, and the other one widens. Mm -mm. Yeah. Oh, the look of you, you mean? Yeah, like I don't need anything drawing attention to my belly. <laughs> So, <laughs> just, just get a, just get a crushed velvet robe then. Just tie it up oh as needed. Oh my god! The uh, like the the one that they stop you from going into clubs with. Yeah, as a belt. And you could also be the outfit of choice when they enter your penthouse. The floppy flip or the top flop, top flop, top flop. Not the flippy flop. <laughs> The whole flippy flop top flop. You know it. Man, there are some nice smoking jackets. Um, Harte, this is what you missed earlier. We did uh, Jack Skellington. Maybe these two are going on a date. That'd be cute. Totally cute. Soup's cute. So Maybe, <clears throat> maybe they'll go um, for pizza with Pat Maroon. Oh, yeah. So we don't have a theme for this week, but we will have a theme next week if somebody comes up with a theme for next week. So if you can come up with a theme for next week, the <laughs> then we'll last have 20 one. minutes of the show next week will be of that theme. Uh, you know, it's the holiday season. It's pr probably pretty easy to come up with something. Uh, I'm just saying. Yeah. I'm not, uh, you know, be a good chat and come up with a theme. Help us out. We don't have any ideas. Be a good chat. That's nice. I like that. Uh, there is this beautiful green smoking jacket that I might want. Okay. It looks more like a robe. Mm -hmm. Just tell me what you think. I don't know if I look good in green, but I like green. Oh, my Lord. This is amazing. I like this kind of color green as well. It's like... What is this? Uh, I would say racing green. I was going to go with green? I was going to go with a forest green, but it might be British racing green. My what gosh, that guy's hand is white. <laughs> it's almost the same color as Ker as this kerchief or as Asgard. Oh, the background. <laughs> the background. Yeah. Um, I love this for you. Yeah, I think I would. It, it definitely, I like the pleated. Uh, yeah. Business here. Yeah. The big bow in the front. Or no front, like, like just open in here. Whatever yeah. you need. <laughs> Whatever you need. The yeah, options. I mean. Let's see if I can get this. What's the price tag on something like that? Well, so I, I don't know if they have my size. What is my size? I don't 36? know. It's a hundred bucks. Oh my gosh! It's like lunch. I should, I should just get it. I agree, Bia. It can't be good quality for a hundred bucks, though. So? This is what they call it. Excuse me. Tell me the uh, details. Men's long smoking jacket with belt velvet smoking robe shawl lapel quilted dressing gown. Okay. Really slamming those words in there. <laughs> it's like when you use AI to come up with like a an image. You just put in like all the words with like little commas, so you just like all the words are in there. It'll come up with something. It'd be it fun to actually grab that. Oh, it. do you want to grab that description and shove it in Mid Journey and just see what it comes up with? Oh my god, that'd be great. Do it. No pressure, sorry. <laughs> Do it. Get on it. Uh, are we still in that chat? Uh, yeah, it's the yeah, it's right there. Up, up, the one with the two. Yep. And I've paid for a, a membership, so you can just keep going. Uh, where? Which room do I do? Uh, any of the newbies is fine. Can chat see what's happening or no? No, but I can make them see. Oh, cool.
slash imagine. Uh, slash imagine. Yeah. Click the prompt above it. Yeah. And then paste. Um, and then do you want it like super realistic, like hyper realistic or photo realistic? Is that what I put? Photo realistic? If you want it, but if you want it not like more kind of cartoony, you can. I think there's a space in between, but yeah. <clears throat> do we have a... So uh, that's it. I just hit enter. Go. Yeah. See what, see what it does. On. Let's see. Uh, what would this be? Oh, it doesn't say green. I wonder what color it'll come in. Oh, there it is. It's not coming in green, though. Oh, because we didn't say green. But one of them is kind of green. Look at this guy. <laughs> <laughs> well, that might be the best guy, actually. The one in the lower left. This guy has no legs or arms, so... You know, he's got a head, no legs, no arms. Well, this is looking pretty good here. Oh, it is looking good, isn't it? Okay, now click on it. Let's make it big. Which one? All oh, of just it? click on all of it, yeah. Oh, I like this. This is pretty nice. Yeah. Well, you know what? They're all lovely. Except for the no arms and legs. Yeah, this guy, I don't know about... <laughs> <laughs> no, the no legs, no arms, no body, but there's a head. He's yeah. Fine. I would definitely wear that lower right one. This one. Yeah, because even though cut the collar, the collar on one side matches the whatever's going on below. Yeah. Um. This is more kimono-y. Yeah, I don't think that's my jam. I also. Yeah, and I like the other lower one, the dark one, and the one to the right, the orangey one, I think I'd feel like a Muppet, so I don't think I'd feel good in that. And I, my hands yeah. aren't that long. Well, your hands stop here. You don't see your hands. It's just... Right, and that's a little because, creepy. Because, look, you don't see this guy's legs. Is he walking? Is he well, floating? It, it Does, cuts, is though, the ground lower? It cuts at a spot, though, where his legs should be crossed in front of each other. And it looks like he has thin legs, and I don't know. I think like the ground it must be lower. You know? Yeah, yeah. But the man who you can like see up his skirt essentially in the upper left, it's a little weird. <laughs> <Sky>. <laughs> well, that was fun. I do love uh, Mid Journey. They, it's uh, well, pretty let's, crazy. Hey, let's click on Go U three version four. And let's just see if he gets legs in the in the next version. Redo? Uh it should just do it automatically, but it'll be below. You have to scroll down to find it. It's happening. It's happening, it's happening now. Scroll down a little bit. Mm -hmm. No, no legs. <laughs> <laughs> but no people, legs for pe you. People, people are liking the other one. Look, they're redoing it again. No, we did this, right? No, it it did that on its own. Variations by Doug. Don't. Yeah, but I don't do the variations. Someone else did, or the the AI did. I'm no, loving no, that. No, because you said you That's... you the. So the upscale is this one. The versioning is this one. Oh, variations. Gotcha. <laughs> Hefner ready to take over the world? Yeah, I don't know about that. Uh, out of these, I like this one. This bottom one, maybe. Mm. Oh, I don't know. That's not great. No, this? I think I like the original one of that, to be fair. Or the upper right. I like this sort of texture here. 
I like the sleeves on the upper right, though. There's like a nice There's pattern. There's a collar the here, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the sleeve pattern. Mm. Yeah, same here. Not the yeah. same, but similar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these two are the better ones. Yeah. The right sided ones. Let's go back to uh, no leggies. I think it might have to scroll down or up, one or the other. I think scroll down. There you go. It's a lot of texture going on there on both of them. Yeah, I'd wear this both. Neck is weird. Well, it's he, it, yeah, it is. is it's like it's cutting fingers? in. I don't know. <laughs> good from far. Yeah, I think good, it's good, like good, good from far, but far from good. Far from good. Far from good. I do like the texture, and I do. I would wear this as well. But yeah. like, I don't know where I would wear it. At your penthouse. I, sure. At home, I would definitely wear this. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know if any of these are going out uh, smoking jackets. Fair. Well, that was fun. I didn't expect to play this tonight, but yeah, it's good. So, um, does anybody have a theme for next week? Anybody thought about a possible? I'm gonna be back in two seconds. Theme so, too? well, let's talk about let's talk about themes, chat. Perfect. Let's talk about it. We could keep it in the Christmas idea or not. I don't care. You can't tell me what to do. Or you can. Either way. Uh, has anybody else been watching Peripheral or any new shows? I, I'm always keen on new shows. I'm also re-watching old Veronica Mars episodes because they've just been added to Prime. And so, you know, that's useful. I do like her, so... Christmas Stewart. Oh, yeah. It hit us with the idea, Bia. I think we'll find uh, not so many other ideas. Do it. Hit me with your best shot. Fire away. I used 100 Z Cub points to highlight my message that says, do it. Well done. Thank you. Do Thank it, you. do it, do it. So I've been thinking about this. If we can get enough songs in this Christmas thing, I think we risk the copyright strike and on our Christmas special and play it all night long. Okay. Sure. It's a once a year thing. What are they going to do? Ban us? Again possible <laughs> a theme a theme for the uh last 20 minutes of next week's episode well the reason i asked about amazon music is because i have an account so with my prime account so maybe mm -hmm. maybe it's okay so they also did a deal with um warner music and something else where you can play some songs on your channel but it's so convoluted it's impossible to know like what's what's able to play and what's not so right the other thing with christmas songs is a lot of them are in the common domain anyway oh okay yeah maybe not last christmas by wham but it's pretty old it's not 50 years old though doug no maybe i don't think so 80 something right It'd be in the 80s, yeah. That? Last Christmas. That's almost 50 years ago. <laughs> it really is, yeah. Turn it down for what? <laughs> oh, that's funny. I like that song. Um, You got a quick five-minute jobby in your head there, Doug? Yeah. What are you thinking? I'm gonna do a bird. Bird. Bird, bird, bird. Bird is the word. All right, everybody. Doug's gonna do a bird. Well, does anyone when have I a. Do anyone, I mean paint? Does anyone have an idea of a bird? Like, what's yes. the bird doing? Huh. Is 
It's either flying or standing, right? That's what birds do. All right. How is he getting? He's standing, getting ready to take off. Okay, that sounds good. I like it. You're too late, Bia. Penguin sliding is Bia's idea, but maybe we can try that after. This is a five-minute challenge. Or are we gonna get a hustle? I get a hustle. Oh, I gotta turn the time on. Here we go. Your time starts now. If you do, if you want to see the theme from last week, Jesus Christ, yeah, ch check the Discord. Doug has posted the picture that came out of the theme from last week in the Discord. art channel it has 352 likes already oh my gosh might be the most and ever one birthday cake which is a little weird but hey people like birthday cake what are you gonna do eat Oh, snow theme for next week. Yes, okay. Fits with the penguin. I like it. Snow theme. Doug just doesn't paint anything. <laughs> Leaves a white thing. Lux snow. <laughs> um, yeah, I need some of this. You got three minutes and 31 seconds left. Oh, good God, Lorraine, it's on. Takes me back to my art battle days. Yeah. <clears throat> Serious time constraints, eh? Mm-hmm. But you do well under pressure. We've seen yeah. this on this show over and over that you do well under pressure. Under pressure. Ding dong ding 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 ding. Andy sings. And what can't this guy do? There's a thing or two. Complex math problems is the answer to that oh, question. That's fucking right. Most other things, he's got it down pat. <laughs> also, now bread, also. He can't do bread anymore. No, nope. bread's a hard no. Hard pass on the bread. How are we for time, Shaney? You have exactly to the second one minute and 54 seconds. Oh, I got loads of time. Yeah. Yeah, you got plenty of time. Plenty of time. And if you could turn back down. Blang, blang. Blang, blang. Blang, blang, blang. Blang, blang, blang. Blang, blang, blang. blang, blang. All right. <laughs> um, a minute 26, Doug. you got plenty of time to do whatever you need to do. Make that bird sound like a bird. I'm going to make sure. that bird sing. <laughs> <laughs> you can hear it. Oh, good. You can, you can hear it. Honk it away. Oh, I broke my doings. Luckily, I have, more, I, I have more doings. Oh, you suck. Doings. This doings is the best. We're down to 50 seconds. Ooh. Doug, 
37 seconds, Doug. You got a hard 27 left. Ooh, that's a good number. Happen in, happen in there. Oh, done with 10, 13, 12, 11, 10 seconds to spare. Look at you go. I'm just going to stop the clock at six seconds. It's oh, and Andy crushes the can, crushes the challenge, and crushes the can. Mm. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. Um, what do you name this this bird, Doug? What do you call? What are you calling our little friend here? Uh, whatever you like. Bluette. Oh, Bluette. I like yeah. it. Let's see what it came to mind. <laughs> Old Bluette. Bluette. Old Bluette. I like, um, I like it. I like it a lot. There's only one small adjustment that I would make. Yeah, what, what are we doing? I can make from here. Oh, oh let me, uh, pardon me. Uh, just and it's gonna hang out under this branch of snow. <laughs> oh, she fancy. She fancy. Whoops. Oh yeah. Making it. Oh, not quite the hat. No, nope. you know what? Better without the hat. Better without the hat. <laughs> I like. Uh, I wasn't planning on Bluette's white belly, but I'm really liking that little happy mistake. Yeah. Can you zoom in on that a little bit? I'd like yeah. to see it a little bit closer. <clears throat> so the top here, the little uh, f fur bits. Mm -hmm. What? It's reminding me of a. Is, it, is this a specific bird? Because it's reminding me of that. Yes, the the. The penguins it, from the, that like, uh, Happy Feet. Uh, it was Robin Williams, I think. These guys, yeah, yeah, yeah. This one here, I'll show you. I'll show you what it reminds me of. This cute little fella right here. Or lady, I don't know. Fair. Who knows who knows what I know? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. Yep. I like it. Amazing. They're in love. <laughs> <laughs> Another Hallmark movie has, has come to fruition on on this Bluette and Pengi. <laughs> and I, I do have to say that, that ice um, we'll call it ice capades ooh, that would be a fantastic name for a hallmark movie ice capades mm -hmm. uh, i was once in a band that had a album called arse capades that's fun do people watch <laughs> <laughs> that's fun <laughs> <laughs> You're darn tootin', Doug. <laughs> oh, there is, that was part of the show too, wasn't? Well, they are the arscapades. What are you gonna do? Two. What now, my friend? Doug, I, well, there's not much time left. Um, there's yeah. a couple of, uh, housekeeping items that I'd like to get to. Which is basically that we will be here until the Christmas special on the 22nd. So mm -hmm. we'll be here next week and the week yep. after. And the week after that will be the Christmas special on the 22nd. Yeah. I really hope everybody can join us. It's totally. going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, I'll be in studio with Doug. And there's a pretty good chance I'll be having a couple beverages. And we all know how that turned out last year. Basically, could not put the VOD up anywhere. Right. But whatever. Yeah. It was a fun time. I made a pizza bird. What are you going to do? People are still talking about it. <laughs> what are you going to do? Fight? Let's fight. <laughs> right, Panda? Right. <laughs> Shane drinks some shock. Yeah, completely sober all the time. Uh, this will be my first taste of wine on the Christmas special. So I'm looking forward to that. Ever? Looking forward to some. Never food. had some wine before? Oh, yeah. Never had wine before. Okay. Not a drop. Well, I'm looking forward uh, to it. I'm pumped. Yes. In Discord, Bia has put a Spotify playlist 
add your Christmas songs. We'll be playing those during the special, probably. We're going to have a quick look and see if it's possible and then probably yeah. do it anyway. Uh, but at the very But least, if we can make it possible, we'll I think a, it's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I also think, you know, just getting uh, everybody's favorite Christmas tunes in one place for us to listen to, why not, you know? Yeah. I'll be listening to it over the holidays, that's for sure. Whatever we create. And next week's theme, so the last 20 minutes of next week's show will be snow. Snow will be the theme. Snow. We'll see how we can <clears throat> see how Doug will manipulate the snow. Mm. And it won't be that uh, Hallmark movie, Snow Coming. Or will it? Or will it? No one knows. No one knows. More animal facts next week. As <laughs> from the- Thanks everyone for hanging out. We really appreciate it. Uh, it was a fun show, and we got a lot done. We got Bluette. We got a Swedish gnome. We got Jack Skellington. Like we did a lot. Yes, very it was super cool. fun. All right, we'll see you guys next week. Thank you All so right. much for hanging out. Have a kick-ass weekend. Yes. Goodbye.